What is up everyone and welcome back with another video. A new tweak released recently called DVC that allow you to dual boot your iOS device, which means you can run two iOS versions on your device. But first, let me make it clear. So if you install this tweak and you are on iOS 13.5, you can now with this tweak install also iOS 13.2, for example, or even 13.1. Uh, You're probably going to ask me, can I have iOS 13 and iOS 12 at the same time? Uh, I don't think so because it's really limited and it depends on something called SEP. So first, let me start with the pros and cons of this tweak. So the pros about this tweak, this tweak will allow you to have both iOS version on your same iOS device, which is crazy. But it's really limited. And let's start now with the cons. Like, this is it. This is the pros that you're gonna get. Let's start with the cons. Starting with the first con, this week will not run unless you have a Mac OS and you are plugged to your PC. So it only works on Mac OS for now. They are still working on the Linux but Windows are never gonna be released. So they are not even thinking of Windows. So this is the first con. So a lot of people not gonna be able to use this tweak. The second thing, as I said, it's really limited and depends on something called SEP. So if you are using uh, iOS, uh, for example, 13, you can only do downgrade to iOS 12 like maximum you cannot downgrade to something like ios 11 ios 10 or whatever so this week will only works for a limited shorts i don't know what's the meaning of sep but uh this is how it works you cannot downgrade to very old version the third con that this week will only work for iphone 10 and below that's include iphone 8 iphone 7 iPhone 6s and iPhone 6. They said it supports iOS 12, but uh, in my case, I actually didn't try it. And um, since it's very limited and uh, it's not gonna be helpful for my case because I want to downgrade uh, from iOS 12 and uh, I want to be able to have also iOS 8 or 9, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it, this was actually possible with uh, other tweak, but it's now not supported and not being up updated. That week was called Cool Boot, which actually was one of the best week on Syria that you can find. It's really useful, but now it's not being supported. It only support iPhone 5, I, I think, and, uh, and below. So let me talk about that week really quick. So no need for a PC. You can downgrade to any unsigned version of iOS. So also without uh, SEB compatibility or limitation, that means if you have iPhone 6 on iOS 12, you can dual boot to, uh, for example, iOS 8 which is actually the lowest version that you can get for iPhone 6. And you can even jailbreak the second uh, iOS version that you installed. In this case, uh, if you try to install, for example, iOS 8.4, you will have untethered jailbreak for that iOS, which was actually really cool. And you will have all the tweaks and all the old tweaks that was supported for iPhone uh, or sorry, iOS 8. So... Cool Boot was actually one of my favorite tweak and I thought that they will update it with iOS 13 or even iOS 12, but actually they didn't update it. And um, I thought the DVC or this tweak that released recently will take the place of that week, but actually it didn't. And uh, it's really limited. As I said, it's limited to SEB compatibility. That means if you are on iOS 12, you can only downgrade to iOS 11, I guess. Uh, I'm just guessing here. I don't actually know, but it's really limited. So you cannot downgrade to really old unsigned version of iOS. So that's the tweak maybe they will uh, find some way to patch that SAP uh, because actually cool boot was actually able to uh, patch it previously but uh, i don't know it might take them uh, a year or so to do that 
and uh, since they are now limited with that and also limited with using uh, mac os so i think not a lot of people gonna enjoy that week so that week actually was a letdown and um, i don't think many people are gonna use it anyway so maybe they will find in the future uh, an seb patcher or they can use it to, like without a pc that will make the tweak absolutely op so that's my opinion on that week uh, not a lot of people gonna install it and uh, not like he was expecting so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i made everything clear so that week will not allow you to downgrade to the version that you want you will only downgrade or sorry you can upgrade or have two ios version uh, that are signed or close to being signed i don't know about the sap as i said i don't i'm not a developer i'm here just reporting the stuff and i read the stuff that is on the community and i found actually that sab uh, is something that will limit you to downgrade to specific versions of ios with this tweak so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video see you in another one and peace